Together, Ute elders and archaeologists have worked to document some of the 300 sites of historical Ute Indian camps and villages across Colorado. In 2017, they visited a remote location that is in the site of an historical camp dating from the late 1700s. After a long hike through Pinion and Juniper, the group had an opportunity to explore the site and share their knowledge. And you see those wikiups. They're within them big old trees with a lot of branches and all that. That's where they, they put them. I'm not going to say built them, but they just where they put them together. So that, that's where they stayed. Because we lived outside. The people, youth people lived outside. Only when it got bad, we seek, seek shelter, which is a natural thing to do, no? And some people are good at building shelters, wikiups. Other people just crawl under the rocks or wherever, you know. This, even though it looks like a, a wikiup pole, is actually a tree. That they'd cut down most of the tree and uh, used it to support the other poles against and used it as one of the poles. And it was this, the dead part of this tree that we took a tree ring date out of and got our, uh, got our date of 1790 out of here when this tree was killed yeah and uh, yeah seven years ago this pole was still standing leaned up in there and that's what's happening to them and once they're on the ground the snow sits on them in the winter and stuff they did they deteriorate real fast the Ute elders explain how Ute people use their knowledge of the environment every day the scientists showed how they document the wooden structures at the site. Elders and scientists talked about the importance of visiting these historical sites with respect. So you see all these sticks around, they used to all lean up against a tree. And there's others that are standing by themselves, but they're leaning like that. Okay, so that, you know that there was uh, an area where they were uh, camped at, for maybe a summer, maybe for hunting, or maybe as it was passing through. But they always came back to that area. When you're camping and you need to get out of the elements, that's, you yeah. put that together real yeah. quick and real cover quick. it with a hide. Yeah. The, the people that were here, the, our ancestors, they probably were here, maybe camped here for, for a period of time, but I don't think they were here permanently. They were here because they're always on a move because of uh, resources. There's many uses for a lot of this. You see what around? Take a look around. You may not recognize some of the plants or some of the things that they used to use because that was what they, the knowledge that they had in order to uh, survive. You know, coming up here, we run into a lot of cactus, but they use that also. Some of these cactus get a little bit bigger and then they have fruit on top of them. And uh, along with the deer meat that they had or some of the, you know, the sheep that we've seen coming up here, some of that also that they had that they use this with. So there's a lot of, the, a lot of food that you see around here. Today, maybe we don't recognize them like they did, but we recognize some of them because uh, we, some of us still use that. That uh, we go to different places to harvest some of these plants. My experience, my feeling at that time was, hey, you know, I, I belong here. I feel good, you know. I, it was just like an overwhelming feeling I had within myself that I, w I was near home, you know, I was at home. I had that real peaceful feeling, you know, and my thoughts, my worries and everything, you know, was kind of like let go. And I just felt that 
at ease and at, at peace and and that's the way I feel every time I come over in this area. I thought we lived in teepees, shade houses and all that, but then looking at this behind me, I just didn't notice we were mountain men before the reservation. And so the way these were built, um, it's like, it's like um, we didn't need to spend all this time um, just staying out in the elements, getting rained on, like what's happening right now. And it wouldn't take time, it'd just like sort of be a quick process. I never thought it would be up here, like in so deep into the forest, or the woods. Because I never seen them built with sticks before. I've only heard stories. It just makes me feel like our ancestors were smarter than other people.